really for any of this to work. The morning practice, the good motivation, some taming of the mind, being mindful through the day. And then, uh, you know, in the evening, they have these practices where we get to dedicate, where we get to purify negativities. I think those are wonderful. But that's a full practice. And that is the path of, of awakening. Richness of understanding this, that if I were to really dive into the five precepts. So when one takes refuge, formally becomes, a, you know, takes these refuge, takes these five precepts. Um, if one were to just maintain those, you would deepen them. So these five precepts, right? Don't, don't lie, don't kill, don't steal, no sexual misconduct and no intoxicants. Okay, so those are five. And now we have 10 non-virtuous actions, right? Where you're going to have killing, you're going to have stealing in there, you're going to have harming others, uh, you're going to have lying, you're not going to have the ones to speech, you're going to have uh, sexual misconduct, and so forth. Basically, those five get expanded into 10. If I were to pay attention to those 10 and I become more subtle, you know, all these other vows, all these other uh, ethical behaviors and, uh, and all of them, they really are just branches of those five. As a matter of fact, all the monastic vows, you know, 253 or whatever within our tradition, um, you know, there, there's these four root and the four root, you know, are coming right out of those five. In other words, if, you know, to not kill, well, then a more subtle is I don't harm, right? And I don't harm not just physically, I don't harm emotionally, I don't harm verbally. And so rather than get caught up in, you know, more elaborate things, if I were to really start focusing on what it means to cultivate 10 virtuous actions, and what 10 non virtues you are going to naturally uh, develop those other qualities that one would take higher vows in because you're just going to be kinder and you're going to avoid these behaviors. And so, just focusing, you know, rather than memorizing a list of 253, <laughs> uh, you know, a list of 10. But those 10 will become very subtle and more subtle and more subtle. And uh, the ripening, all spiritual growth comes from that ethical behavior. So if I develop a mind, it's more clear, engage in ethical behavior with compassion, and then start bringing in a more accurate understanding of self in my experience. Yeah, you know, that's the path. That's the path of